In this video, we'll look at how to set up an ambisonic session in Pro Tools in order to create a mix for Facebook 360, YouTube, or linear VR video. First, we'll look in the I.O. setup. You see I have a hardware output for headphone monitoring, and I'm going to create a new bus that's second order ambisonics, which will be my 360 ambisonics mix bus. Next, we'll make some tracks. Right now, we just have stereo camera audio. So I'm going to create one first order ambisonics track and we'll create a couple of mono tracks and a couple of stereo tracks to give us something to work with. Okay, and I can quickly rename those. Next, I'll add the Facebook Spatializer plugin to each of these tracks to convert their source format into second order ambisonics. I'll need to do this for each type of track that I have. Okay, now I can set all of these outputs to my 360 mix bus. Next, I'll create a master track for the mix. This will be a second order ambisonics aux input. We'll call that 360 mix. This will pick up the mix. And then we're going to put the Facebook control plugin on here, which will convert the mix to a binaural headphone monitoring feed. So I can set the output here to my headphones. This section of the mix will take care of sounds that appear in the 360 degree sound field but I may also want some static sounds like music or voiceover. And for those, we'll make a completely separate stereo mix. Let's create a couple of stereo tracks. Maybe call these music one and two. And these I'll route to a stereo aux, and I'll do this directly this time to a new track. Stereo aux, which we'll call locked mix. So these tracks route to here. So now if I drag in, say, some four channel B format ambisonics audio, we'll be able to hear that in the 360 mix. And if I bring in some music, we'll hear that in the stereo mix. In the next video, we'll look at how to position these sources within the 360 degree sound field.